Um, this is just a video that's kind of an introduction to acids and bases and their properties. So acids and bases are really common in our lives and the foods that we eat, the cleaning products that we use, um, also insects. Um, they, um, the reason sometimes that we get that sting is because they're um, injecting a little bit of acid underneath our skin which is irritating. Um, we uh, like sour food, like the, the different citrus fruits, like lemons, limes, oranges, uh, grapefruit are all um, very acidic. And then of course we make these purposefully really sour like gummies and things because some of us really like those flavors. So they do taste sour. They also change color in um, sometimes with certain acid-based chemical indicators. And we'll um, be learning more about that later. Um, acids react with metals um, to produce hydrogen. So in the lab, um, we've done an experiment. Um, I know we didn't do the one I wanted to, but we did do the one where we uh, record, we reacted hydrochloric acid with zinc, and then we did the we stoppered it and we put a wood splint in, and then it popped a little explosion just to tell us that we had made hydrogen. Acids and bases react to, uh, with each other to neutralize, um, and they make salt and water. We'll be talking about that much more later, too. Um, acids conduct electricity because there are cations and anions. We'll talk about that when we start to talk about chemically what an acid is. Bases, um, these are um, commonly bases are in our um, household products um, that are cleaners, um, but we do baking soda as a base, too. Um, they taste bitter. So if you've ever accidentally tasted soap um, or baking soda, it's not too pleasant. Um, they also, bases will change color um, at certain pH changes with acid-based chemical indicators. Um, we know, you know, that soap is a base and we know that soap feels slippery. Bases also conduct electricity because there are cations and anions that can move between the cathodes.